Hi everybody, Patty Cesarini here, and I'm sitting down with the newest head coach of our women's soccer program, Devin Zavosik. Devin, you've been here for just a couple of weeks now. How's the state of Michigan treating you? Uh, it's been phenomenal so, so far. The people here are fantastic. The weather is very, very nice. Not having wow. to deal with 90 degree <laughs> weather every day, but it's been fantastic so far. And you know, being able to hit the ground running has just been awesome. Mm -hmm. And you were at Miami this past spring, and then you took the job here at Oakland. What made this job so enticing? Um, I think the biggest piece was the people. I mean, it's just truly a special athletic department. Um, everyone's on the same page. They have a mission to bring success and to build a really positive student athlete experience. So that was a big piece. And again, talk about the weather, but you can't beat <laughs> 80, 85 degree weather in the summer. Um, so just a lot of things that were great about not only the athletic department, the state of Michigan, and then just the university. I mean, the university is consistently growing. It's becoming more modern. Um, it's just set us up for a chance to have a lot of success here. Yeah, and you'll find out the, the longer the longer that you're here, too, you'll find out that everyone's very, very tight-knit in our athletic department. But before Miami, you were at JMU, where the past three of your recruiting classes were top 40. You led them to two final appearances in the conference tournament and then their first NCAA appearance in eight years. I mean, how do you plan to bring that level of success here to Oakland? You know, I think it's just about the people. Um, it's about building a really strong experience for our student athletes that really empower them to reach their you know, maximum potential. And that's what we did at JMU. And I was fortunate to work with special people there. And we were able to have student athletes who really bought into our kind of mission and plan. And that's what we plan on doing here. And, you know, I a, as I've talked to the team, they're all bought in and they're all excited <laughs> about it. And, you know, they want to make history here. And that makes my job easier. Mm -hmm. When you have student athletes who are wanting to work as hard as possible, wanting to help really build something special. I mean, it just, it's a, basically a picture perfect opportunity. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what I plan on bringing here. And, you know, I think we can do it. Yeah. I mean, we have a chance to be really special here. A hundred percent. And like you said, buy-in, that's the biggest thing. And, you know, and you talked about how you wanted to change culture and stuff, but what about your coaching style? What's that, <laughs> what's that like? What can, what can we see maybe from the sideline? And then your players also expect from you um it's it's interesting like i'm the ultimate hype man i really <laughs> think i am i mean positivity and empowerment is is the main you know core values of my philosophy and that's what i brought to every stop i've been at um and i plan on doing it here and it's you know, to create an environment where our student athletes feel empowered to make mistakes and have success. Because if you can inspire student athletes to, you know, kind of drive outside their comfort zone, they're going to get better on the field, off the field. So for me, it's just empowerment and inspiring student athletes to be their best. Yeah, hundred percent. And what are your goals for the program? You know, I mean, Oakland's had a rich history of success. Um, you know, in the early 2000s, they made a decent amount of NCAA tournaments, mm -hmm. won some conference championships, and that's ultimately when I would, what I want to bring to Oakland. And I think there's an opportunity to do that here. And, you know, that was another big piece of kind of what enticed me to come here. Um, student athletes who are bought in, history of success, a university that's nationally ranked. We just have every opportunity to be able to, you know, do something truly special here. A lot of tools in the toolbox, yep. right? And we want we want some hardware. Bring it, bring it back for us. <laughs> but I do want to play some this or that so okay. the people can really get yep. to know your personality. Yep. Yep. Um, so the first one that I have for you, and this will be it'll be a little bit of um, soccer edition. Okay. So, okay. So it's in, it. it'll be in your Love wheelhouse. It. So the first one is Champions League or Premier League. Ooh, that's a tough one. Champions League, because I'm a big Barcelona fan. Okay. Um, but I love the EPL, so I like the, you know, kind of mixture of a variety Ooh. of teams in it. Okay, okay. The next one is take a penalty kick or be in the wall for a free kick. Uh, take a penalty kick. <laughs> I, I have had a lot of soccer balls hit up my face, uh, a lot of headers and having to deal with that. I want to be the person scoring the goal and celebrating. I was a naturally a defender um, oh, when I played collegiately okay. and pro and you know, ultimately, I would rather be scoring the goal than having to take one, you know, right in the face. Yeah, yeah. I would also get behind that. If I was a soccer player, I, I would say the same thing. I'd be like, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Um, beep test or run the hills? 
Uh, beep test. Really? Uh, it is scientifically the most accurate test to measure match fitness. So mm. it is a fitness measurement in my opinion. It's not truly a test and it's an opportunity to see how fit you are. Hills, a little bit older school. <laughs> We're gonna be a bit more modern here. So, you know, the beep okay, test is uh, what I would prefer. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I would not wanna run that beep <laughs> test. Absolutely not. Red or blue Gatorade? Uh, Blue Gatorade. No Oh, questions. that was, that was Come quick. On. No, that no was questions. That was quick. Hands down, the best flavor, Blue Gatorade. Okay. No questions asked. All right, asked. all right. I'm, I'm a purple person, but that's fine. Um, and then the last one I've got for you, Messi or Ronaldo? Oh, man. I yeah. used to be a Ronaldo fan, and then Messi grew on me, and I started to appreciate the greatness. Um, I've actually seen him play live, so that kind of just sweet. changed me into a Messi fan. Interesting. Um, but it's a soft spot for Ronaldo. I love the goal scoring, <laughs> but I'll take Messi at the end of the day. All right, there you have it. Messi, he's the one and only for you, I guess. Um, but, Coach, that's all I got for you here today. Thank you so much for sitting down, talking to the people letting them get to know you as well, and welcome to OU. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Of course. Coach, I've got one more question for you, and it is a very serious question. Can you hit us with a Go Grizz? Absolutely. <laughs> go Grizz. Yeah! I love that.